Hey guys, this is Eric from Final Cut Studio School, and I'm here to show you a pretty neat effect that I was fooling around with trying to figure out, and I think I got it pretty good, and I want to share it with you guys. Of course, I'm going to go through this fast, and you'll need to do a little bit of tweaking and fool with it to get your own spin on things, but for the most part, I want to show you how to do the shatter effect. Now, it's not super hard, but it is a time-consuming process, so sit back and watch. It might take a few minutes. So here's our finished effect when we get done. And, you know, of course, you'll want to adjust it and tweak it. It's just, you might want to go in there and have your squares uh, shattering out at different speeds and different times and stuff. This is just a basic, simple effect. So, uh, let's go in and start building this thing. I'll bring in my picture of my daughter's name that was made in Shake. And bring it in here. So now, as you can see, the one that I just had open was shattering into, like, 12 pieces. I'm just going to shatter this one into four pieces because it's faster and you all can get the basic idea. So uh, uh, let's start this. So the first thing we want to do is open our project pane. And as you can see, you're going to want to duplicate your picture or movie however many times <clears throat> you're wanting it to be separated. If you're wanting it to be, if you're wanting it to shatter into ten pieces, then you need to make ten copies. I'm just going to shatter it into four pieces to give you an idea and uh, so I'm going to make four copies so I'm going to select my picture and I'm going to hit command D three times and this will give me four copies of my movie or my photo I want to select my top one here and the first thing I want to do is add a square mask so I'm going to select my square mask tool I want to go up here start in the corner and go down like this and get about a quarter of it because I'm just doing four you know if you want to do twelve then you start smaller up here and go across but I'm just going to do four so I'll start like this Okay. Now that we ha now let me turn off these other pictures so you can we can see what we're doing here. Now as you can see we just have this one picture masked off. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to duplicate this mask. And I'm going to duplicate it 3 times which will give me 4 copies. So I'm going to hit select it, hit command D. So now I have 4 copies of this mask. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these masks and I'm going to drop it on my other copies of my picture. So now I have four pictures and four of the same exact size masks on all of them. So now, as you can see, this rectangle mask, and this picture is right here. I'm going to select my second rectangle mask and turn on my, you can turn on all your pictures now. Here's the first one. Now the second one will be in the same spot. I'm going to select it and I'm going to drag it over like this. Now we have two. I'm going to select my third one. It's going to be where the first one was. I'm going to drag it down like this. I'm going to select my fourth one and I'm going to position it over here. Now we have four copies of one picture put together like a puzzle to make one solid picture from four different copies cut up. So now I'm going to close my group and add a camera so I can dolly around to the side and show you all in 3D. Like this. Now, okay, so now let's open my group back up. I'm going to select my first picture. I'm going to select my first picture and I'm going to hit the replicate button. Now when I do this, it's going to look like it's going to mess it all up, but it's not. Just grab your little square, drag it down to where it's centered up like this right here. Like that. No problem, huh? Go to your next picture. Make sure they're all turned on, by the way. Go to your next picture. Hit the replicate button. Bring it down into the middle like this, the same way. Select your next picture, and we're going to hit the replicate button again. We're going to bring it down. Select the next picture, hit the replicate button, do the same thing. Like that. Eh, it's a little bit messed up, but I think you guys can take a little bit more care with it than me. And select your last one, turn it into the replicator, 
and bring it down. Now you have to do this 12 times if you make 12 copies. Okay, now we have them all of our replicators lined up and it's all good. As you can see, it also turned off my four pictures. You can see them. Here's a replicator. This was my mistake. It didn't need to be there. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and delete it so as not to get you guys confused. So now I have four replicators that I applied to my four pictures. It turned my four pictures off and now I have these replicators. So I'm going to go into my first replicator. As a matter of fact, I can select my camera now and dolly around so you can see. I'm going to select my first replicator. Go to the inspector. Select my replicator tab. I'm going to select line under the shape, drop down. I'm going to go to points, make it one, one point, and click the 3D button. Okay. Go to your next replicator, do the same thing, line, change your points to one, and 3D. Now I'm going to do this for all four of them. You would have to do it for however many there is. If there's 12, you'll have to do this 12 times. Like I said, it's a long process. Simple, but long. And my last one. Okay, now we have all this set up and everything. So now you can see we have a start and an end point for each replicator. You want to swivel down your end point on your replicators. Because we're going to be working in our end point. Okay. Now make sure your playhead's at the beginning. Move the play, turn your record button on. Move the playhead forward to where, however long you want the shatter to last. I'm gonna say about right here. I want to take my Z. I'm gonna select my first replicator. Take my endpoint Z position and scroll it either left or right till it comes out a little bit like it is right here in the viewer. You can see. I'm gonna select my next replicator. I'm gonna go maybe the opposite direction with it. Select my next replicator and go back this way. Like this. Maybe backwards a little bit. We'll go backwards with it. And we'll get the fourth replicator. And I'll bring it forward. Like that. There. Now I'll turn off my record button. As you can see, when I scroll through my clip, it shatters. So now let's reset our camera. Let's scroll out to about right where it stops. I'm going to set an out point by hitting command option O. Select your group and hit O. Now we have it trimmed down to this little section here. Now I'm going to park my playhead back at the beginning, select my camera, go to uh, add behavior, um, go to or go to uh, let's see here add behavior camera sweep put a sweep on it and let's shorten our sweep behavior a little bit by grabbing it here in the mini timeline and dragging it down like so and this is our start and end parameters so now as you can scroll uh, scroll through we have a slight sweep so we need to adjust our end parameter so park your playhead at the end and adjust your end parameter to where you want your picture to end up see I'm going to make it end up about right there. I could even have it go all the way around if I wanted to, like this. See, there's a slight shatter effect. Let's bring this back a little bit. And there we go. That's just a quick four-point shatter. Like I said, this one here is a 12-point, or however many I did. I'm not sure. I did a lot. It took a little bit, a little bit of time. But like I say, it, it's very easily done. It's not hard at all. Let me go back in here and show you my tree once more. Right here. It's easy. <clears throat> Just your masks added to your picture, and then your pictures are turned into replicators, and you set your replicators like I showed you, and you can fiddle around with it and get it to look how you want. That's how you do a quick shatter effect in motion, guys. I hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time.